So Benjamin, it's your first trip to Champion Hill for a long time tonight and the first time you've seen this uh, model of the stadium. What have you made of the new ground? Um, compared to what I was used to all those years ago, uh, this is paradise. Yes, I would say that, but my parents did not like the game, but uh, both of my parents, um, mum used to be a goalkeeper and dad played fullback. And uh, as you can see, yes, um, football has always been um, our lifestyle. Arriving here in England and um, having the freedom to do what I wanted to do and being a, a keen lover of football, uh, the school that I was at, uh, they actually liked football and I was introduced to football from a very early age as well and um, I took to it like water uh, of a duff back. No, at that age, all I wanted to do is play football. It could have been my friends against other friends playing. And I was just lucky that it was the fact that I was playing for England. Then, it didn't really matter because I was chosen to play for a team. It could have been any team. And it happens to be England. And at the end, uh, looking back now and seeing the, the magnitude of what I've done, uh, it didn't dawn on me then. For me, in those days, it was another game that I was going out there to go and play. Having sort of left Charlton and now playing for Dulwich, uh, mixed feeling in a way because um, I've left a professional club to come and play here, even though the standard wasn't quite, uh, there wasn't much difference apart from the speed of the game. And uh, it took me a while to actually get used to the non-league football. And after one or two games, um, I sort of started enjoying myself. I would say the home crowd or the home fan were very, very appreciative of us black players playing here. It's only when you play away from home that you will experience what is now famously known as a, a racial abuse in football. I know players complain now about being racially abused, but uh, compared to what we had to go through, uh, they haven't seen anything. This is quite mild. Definitely, from a distance, yes. I, I mean, I, I check their result first, and then I will check Charlton, and then other clubs that, uh, 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 that I support. Um, there were two black footballers at West Ham. Um, Clyde Best and Adekoka that used to play for. Uh, they were the only two, so I actually used to model myself um, um, around those two players. So they were my, I would say, my two role models in those days. I actually made the rounds. Uh, I was at Hendon, Finchley, and then I went back to uni and uh, while I was at university in Plymouth, I played for a, a club in, in Wilkeshire called um, Trowbridge Town. And uh, I enjoyed the three years I was at uni and the three years that I actually played for Trowbridge Town. So uh, they, what, they, what they were doing for me, I mean, the, the wages that I received, they supported my, my lifestyle at, uh, <laughs> at uni with, um, um, with Trowbridge Town. Yeah. As you, as you know, not every ex-professional footballer will get a, a job from either Sky or BBC as a TV pundit. So I had to choose something that I can do after finishing. So the, the only best thing for me to actually do is, um, is to train as a, as a PE teacher. So I'm not sort of working uh, in school as a supply teacher and working as a PE teacher so uh, yeah 
uh, apart from the football, I think uh, uh, teaching PE to the next generation of A footballers or B athletes, um, I thoroughly enjoy. I run a soccer school um, in North London called Atlantic Sports Development. Um, I've been doing this since I would say 15, 20 years now and it's, a, it's a, uh, an organisation which has been thriving and uh, uh, I need some sponsors if there are any, any organisations out there who would like to sponsor uh, uh, a soccer school that needs help, uh, Atlantic Sports should be something that you can, uh, you can look at. And also, youngsters these days, they need role models. Uh, apart from having your parents as you, I mean, in fact, your parents should be your first role model. And from that, if you can find an organization that supports the needs of, of, of youngsters these days, that should be the next one. And Atlantic Sports, we are there to actually help as many youngsters as possible to, for, um, to help them in their needs. Benjamin, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much.